Hello, I'd like to take a minute to show you a uh, little project I've been working on. It's kind of a proof of concept and a, uh, a utility that I put together for myself. Let me give you some background on it. I have a laptop that sits on a shelf over there uh, on the side of my uh, workbench and it's connected to several uh, video cameras that keep an eye on the driveway and the uh, front porch so that I can tell when friends are visiting or if I'm getting a package delivery. The problem with it is because it's a laptop, it's running Windows, I have it set to turn the screen off every 30 minutes or so. And it's a little inconvenient if I'm waiting for something and I have to reach up, get out of my chair and, and hit the space bar or touch the touchpad every once in a while uh, to wake it up again. Now I can check it on the internet, there's other things that I could do, but I thought it'd be kind of neat to use Amazon's Alexa, which takes voice commands, and just speak something like turn on the screen and have that happen. Well, I came up with a method of doing that, and it's right here. I have a little clamp that slides onto the side of my laptop, and there's a servo on it. And the servo, of course, has an arm that moves. It's controlled by a little device called a Wemos D1 Mini, which is an ESP8266 device that connects to my wireless network, then connects to Alexa so that I can give a command to have Alexa wake up the laptop. Let me put this back on again just slides on, you put it back in screensaver mode, and I can say Alexa turn on shift key. And there it goes, the screensaver's okay. off and I'm back to being able to view the screen. Alexa turn on shift key. Pretty simple. Okay. Okay, how do we put all this together? Well, you need several things. First of all, you need some sort of clamp to hold it to the side of the laptop. You could do this in many different ways. I happened to make a, a design on quarter inch plexiglass and cut it out with my laser cutter. I put 16 little holes on it, not electrically connected, just to hold the, uh, the Wemos. That sits up there. And I've got a servo that goes into this little spot here that sits over the shift key. And it's set up so that the servo is controlled by this device. Now the only other thing that I've added, I put a uh, 3300 microfarad capacitor across the plus 5 and ground pins on the Wemos. Uh, I found that this device was crashing quite frequently every 20 minutes or so and a little research on the internet indicated other folks were having the same problem and they cured it by uh, smoothing out the voltage by putting a, a fairly large capacitor on there. As far as power is concerned, I'm just using a USB cable into the side of the laptop to provide power and hardware wise that's it you're talking five bucks or less for the Wemos device you know fifty cents for a capacitor maybe a buck or two for the servo and you've got a servo controller that can be used for this purpose again kind of a uh, trivial uh, de a device for this particular uh, application but you could use it for other things you could use it to press a button to open and close your garage door you could use it to turn light switches on. I've discovered oh, a number of applications on the internet. This happens to be one from Thingiverse where you have a servo next to a light switch with a little controller and it flips the light switch on and off. Uh, could you connect it to a cabinet latch to open a cabinet? Uh, let a dog out of its cage. Uh, let a bird out of its cage. I don't know. what. It, I'm sure you have other ideas. Once you get a servo moving, you can do any number of things with it. Now, as far as the movement of the servo is concerned, you may notice that I never tell it to turn it off. I simply say, Alexa, turn on shift key. The servo, Alexa, turn on shift key. There we go. It goes down and back okay. again all by itself. I could have had it go down when you said on and have it go back when you said off, but that's extra extra work that I would have to do. Now, does that mean that you couldn't do that? Well, sure. I could very easily have changed it that way so that if you have an application where you want the server to go one way when you say on, a different way when you say off, that's very easy to do. You'll see in the code. Speaking of the code, all of the programming for this, uh, the information is on my webpage at trainelectronics.com. I've got a pattern uh, in PDF and CorelDRAW for the uh, clamp that you could modify. I have the code for the Wemos uh, and instructions schematic, as much of a schematic as you need for this, and uh, some information on how to do it, some other things you might want to, uh, to do with this application. Give it a try. 
if you do something, let me know. I'd, I'd be real interested in finding out what application you come up with with a, uh, an Alexa-controlled servo. And as usual, if you have any questions, drop me an email, dave at davebodner.com. Thanks. Alexa, turn on shift key. Alexa, turn on shift key. There you go.